Monsters, Leviathans, Dragons and a very long list of these bizarre creatures have been created in the game franchise of Monster Hunter. There are innumerable monsters to digest and even subspecies and subclasses of them in the games. But here we are only going to focus on the 15 biggest and the most powerful of these monsters to appear in all the games. And if you don't know by now then let me tell you. There is going to be a Monster Hunter movie coming out next year starring Resident Evil's Mila Djokovic. So anyway, before that comes out, let us tickle your minds with the 15 biggest monsters of this universe. Number 15. The Kuaru Sepusu This monster was introduced in the game Monster Hunter Frontier Forward 4. This monster called Kuaru Supesu is a gigantic leviathan which is classified as a frontier generation. It is 36.55 meters long or almost 120 feet. They have long brown bodies with smooth grey underbellies, thick club-like tails and large spear-like horns. They also have several large tusk-like teeth on the lower jaws and most notably dozens of quartz-like crystals on their backs, heads and tails. This Kuarasupesu has the amazing ability to collect and focus sunlight and electricity using the crystals on its body as a weapon. Number 14, the Shen Gauren. On the 14th spot in this list, the Shen Gauren is a massive carapacion or a crustacean like monster that have hard shells and exoskeletons or crab like bodies which mostly require weapons with at least green sharpness to break. Identifiable by their grey skin, towering legs, and gigantic grey yellow balls of acid that they generate and hurl from the rear of their bodies, the Shen Gauren are so large that they use a Lao Shan lung skull for protection. These colossal animals with their size helps them to defeat most creatures. They stand at around 35.57 meters tall or around 120 feet. Number 13, the Plesioth. This next monster is a piscine wyvern which are a class of monsters introduced in the first generation. This class is evolved to be specialized in swimming in just about anything. They are ambush predators adapted to stalking prey from the water and attacking by surprise. Plesioth can fire highly pressurized jets of water at foes and can use their massive size and weight to crush the attackers. They are bipedal monsters with a wyvern body but have webbed feet and paddle-like tail and are covered in shiny fish-like scales. Its gold crown large size is 38.77 meters or 127.1 feet long. Number 12, the Yama Tsukami. This next monster is the first of the elder dragons in this list. And what are elder dragons? Well, they are creatures that defy typical classifications and sit outside of the standard ecosystem, regardless of any superficial resemblance to a dragon. The Yama Tsukami is an unusual elder dragon with an octopus-like body. It is covered in moss, algae, and other plant life, and boasts a set of four thick tentacles. In addition, it possesses two large whiskers and an oddly human-like set of teeth and gums. It produces some sort of gas within its body in order to keep itself afloat. This creature is 40 meters wide or 131 feet. Number 11, the Devilio. Undoubtedly one of the most famous of all the creatures from Monster Hunter, and it was introduced in Monster Hunter 3. Devilio is a very large bipedal brute wyvern characterized by its uniform coloration and muscular upper body. Its thick height is littered with short, jagged spines that reach a maximum height along the back and the tail. It has narrow snouts and a very large lower jaw covered in multiple rows of teeth spreading outwards from the mouth. It has massive powerful hind legs but tiny arms that are rarely utilized, much like a T-Rex. This creature attains a maximum size of 40.97 meters or 134.4 feet long. Number 10, the Fatalis. This is another elder dragon that is present on this list. Fatalis is a traditional black dragon with a long serpentine neck and tail along with a pair of large wings. Its body is covered in rigid black scales and lined with white spines. Its head features four backward facing horns and a row of enlarged bottom teeth. Fatalis is an extremely powerful monster able to wipe out entire hunting parties with relative ease. Its primary means of defense is its ability to breathe a stream of fire and launching flaming projectiles which explode upon impact. It is 41.1 meters or 134.8 feet long. Number 9, the Gok Mazios. This is yet another elder dragon that was introduced in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. 
It has a large, heavy head with red eyes and rows of sharp teeth. Its wing arm membranes can almost completely retract when not in use, and its body is covered in thick, powerful scales, carapaces, and spines of an indigo coloration. The most unusual aspect of this monster is that a sticky, tar-like substance which it uses to incapacitate prey and the presence of an ancient dragonator lodged on its back. It is capable of firing a laser-like beam of superheated oil at attackers and also use its huge size of around 49.2 meters or 161.4 feet in length to battle opponents into submission. Number 8. The Naja Rala On the number 8 spot we have the Naja Rala and this one is a snake wyvern. These monsters are known for their serpentine features such as a long coiling body and forked tongues. They can range dramatically in both size and overall body structure. The Naja Rala, a snake wyvern, has bright green skin adorned with large orange yellow plates on its back and tail. It has a long serpentine body with small, though fully functional fore limbs and hind limbs that aid it in moving around on uneven ground. The Najarala also has large beak-like mouth similar to that of a parrot, along with a pair of small tusks. It can burrow and ambush with fangs of deadly venom, and this creature is 50.6 meters or 166 feet long. Number 7. The Kadios This monster is another elder dragon that was introduced in Monster Hunter 3. Cadius resembles a giant whale with a face similar to that of a Dunkleosteus. It has a prominent beard of fur and two massive horns which constantly grow and eventually overtake the creature's eyes, leaving it blind. Luminous organs line the monster's underside as well as the top of its mouth, which turn from blue to red when it is enraged. With its massive size of 58.37 meters or 191.5 feet long, it is strong enough to cause rubble to fall from hitting walls, smash open large walls, and even cause earthquakes by ramming its horns against the walls of the caverns it inhabits. Number 6. The Dire Miralis The Dire Miralis is a very large semi-aquatic elder dragon. Its body structure is reminiscent of Fitalis, with a relatively short limbs and long tail and neck. Its body is filled with magma-like substance which pools at the base of the tail, the chest, and at each shoulder. Each of these pools directs magma flow to certain parts of the body. It can also shoot magma balls out of its highly specialized wing plates, which fly into the air and land explosively around the area. The Dire Miralis can also be fought both on land and underwater, frequently changing between the two. It has useless wings but a very powerful tail. The Dire Miralis is 62.88 meters long or 206.3 feet. Number 5. The Lao Shan Long this is essentially a hulking elder dragon with copper red body and cream colored underbelly. It has numerous dark gray spikes on their necks, backs and tails. It also has comparatively small limbs with dark gray hands and feet and long tails. On its heads are eight large horns that curve backwards and a smaller horn on the front that points upwards and curves back slightly. The Lao Shan Lung's mouth have small teeth with several larger teeth on the outside of their mouths. At around 69.6 meters or 228.3 feet long, it relies solely on its immense physical bulk and strength, being strong enough to smash through anything. Number 4. The Gen Moran The Gen Moran is an extremely large monster around 111.6 meters or 366.1 feet long, with a long, almost serpentine body shape. On each side of its head are sturdy, sharp-ended tusks which can be broken by hunters. And due to its back legs being vestigial, it moves either by dragging its enormous body along with its arms on the ground or by swimming in the sand. A rocky spine runs along its back where valuable minerals can be found. The Gen Moran is at most times a very calm creature but will attack if threatened. In self-defense, it rams with its entire body and throws large stones off its back. Its size alone is intimidating, never mind its abilities. Number 3. The Darren Moran this elder dragon that was introduced in Monster Hunter 4 is the third largest creature of this franchise, just a little bigger than the Gen Moran. It is a large whale-like dragon that is covered in armor plating. Unlike its relative Gen Moran, its body is jagged and sharp, with spine-like protrusions on the forelegs and back. In addition, Darren Moran's face features a single gigantic knife-like horn that extends several meters from its head rather than the pair of horn-like tusks found on the Gen Moran. This monster is 114.46 meters or 375.5 feet long.
Number two, the Dara Madur. On the second spot comes a creature that is four times the length of a Darren Moran or a Gen Moran. The serpentine elder dragon introduced in Monster Hunter 4 is 440.4 meters or 1444.8 feet long, which is truly titanic in size. Its appearance is similar to the Najarala in terms of body type. It has a snake-like face with bright red eyes, numerous fangs and many hook-like spikes along its body which start out clustered around its head and neck and becoming more spread out along its long body. It is capable of using fire attack and can shoot bright blue balls of flame at the hunters as well as shooting them skyward to where they will fall like meteors, similar to a diameralis. And number 1, the Laviente. The top spot goes to the Laviente, which is an unclassified monster that appears in Monster Hunter Frontier Season 7.0. It is a giant, orange, brown and green tusk serpent. This colossal monster has smooth white underbelly in contrast to its pattern, scales and web ridges that span across its back. It has fin-like wings and spines that are lined along the sides of its body. It can burrow both underground and underwater. The Lavienta primarily attacks by smashing its face into the ground causing an array of flying rocks. Not much information is known about this creature but a Japanese website states it to be longer than the Dalamadur at 450 meters or 1476 feet long. And so with that we come to the end of the list of the 15 largest creatures and monsters from the whole Monster Hunter franchise. So be sure to hit that subscribe button for more monster videos and do give out a thumbs up to support this channel.